Checked is excited to announce the support for video analytics at the edge. With Bridge Firmware version 2.6 and higher, the Bridge can now read video analytics off of many camera brands and recorders. Let me show you how that's set up in our dealer portal. So what I'm looking at here is a site with a couple of bridges installed, and the bridge now will allow you as a security integrator to take existing alarm zones, door contacts, motion detectors, photo beams, and cameras with analytics and create a hybrid solution of video monitoring using both devices. As most of you know, the bridge allows you to pair an alarm zone with any camera. Well, now the bridge allows you to create alarm events with video analytics on the edge. So I'm going to show you how you set that up. I've got a few different camera models here. These first two cameras are VCA-based cameras. These cameras have edge-based analytics. They're very reliable. To enable that on the bridge, what I'll simply do is go to the settings, go to the alarm section, and under the alarm source, you can see that I'm looking for on-viv event messages. This means that in the video stream of that camera, we're going to be supervising that camera with, for any on-viv analytic events. Now, if I wanted to disable that and just go back to a traditional digital input, I can simply do that, save those changes, and now the bridge will be creating events based upon a triggered input. But I'm gonna leave that on OnViv so that this camera specifically is looking for video analytics and will create an event based upon those analytics. So that's all you have to do on a camera channel. Now, of course, you still need to set up your camera to send analytics. So if I'm gonna to go to that specific camera again, if I go to this camera, and I use our remote access connection feature and connect to the web interface of that camera. I'll just simply copy that URL. I'm sent to the web interface of that camera. And now I'll just go to the setup of this camera. Now I know the username and password for this camera and I'm very familiar with how to set up the analytics of this specific camera. But all you would do is you would go to your camera's analytics you would configure those analytics, create the rules and the zones that you desire. And on this camera, what you can see is there's a zone established here, represented by this red uh, detection area. And on this specific camera, we're looking for presence and then in any entrance or exit to this specific alarm zone. Now, this is how this camera is set up. All of your analytics cameras may be different. As long as that camera is supporting video analytics on the edge and it's communicating that information via the OnViv protocol using the OnViv standard event messaging, the bridge will create an alarm event based upon these analytics. So I'm going to go back to the dealer portal. And what you'll see is we've got a variety of cameras here. Uh, we've got a few VCA enabled cameras. We have a couple of height vision, DAWA, um, cameras. We have a high vision thermal camera here. Uh, we've tested this with the FLIR analytics, the Avigilon analytics, and several other brands to include the SightLogic's thermal lens camera, which creates reliable analytics based upon its thermal lens technology. I will just show you a couple of the other cameras. This camera here is looking out the front door of the facility. If I go to the settings and go to the alarm tab, you'll see that this camera is set to look for on viv analytics. It's important to note that the digital input is disabled when the camera is using analytics. So if you have this on viv event messaging enabled, the digital input is disabled and any of the triggers on the input will not create a video clip. So if I close the screen, one of the great benefits of the check bridge now was, will be that you can create hybrid solutions. So with interior zones from a traditional alarm system and exterior cameras that have reliable analytics, you can create that comprehensive perimeter protection and interior protection for your clients. So I'm gonna open up the portal here and you can see now if I go to a few events, if I go to this event here, what you'll see is that this camera created analytics based upon a line crossing that was set up on the camera. There's a line that's defined right in the middle of the room and that anybody walks over that line, of course, it's gonna create an analytic alarm. This information is valuable. And if you go to another event, and if I go to other cameras, 
If I go to the front lot, I can see an additional zone, and this is object inside. This is an object inside alarm, and this camera created the alarm event, all based upon the video stream and the analytics on the camera. Now, something that's really important to understand that because these cameras are IP-based devices and the analytics are just a trigger on that edge-based camera, these cameras, of course, are not tied to the traditional alarm panel. So if you need these zones to also create an alarm signal into the central station, it's important that you go to the settings and ensure that that zone type for those cameras is enabled. By default, most checked zones uh, for the alarm codes are disabled because as you understand, the check bridge was designed initially to pair traditional alarm zones with cameras and that alarm panel would transmit the, the alarm code into the central station and the bridge's alarm codes are disabled to avoid any redundant signals into the central station. However, with cameras with analytics, you want to enable this code here. You just simply click on that line, check these two boxes, and then determine the alarm code that you want to transmit. I have an E136 defined for this instant zone, and then on my devices, the cameras that are all defined as an instant zone will transmit that code. Now, if I needed to go to a specific channel and change my zone type, I can do that right here. Or if I needed to go to a specific camera and change the unique code that's transmitted, I can do that right here and change that alarm code to a different code if needed. So if this camera, I needed a general alarm set, for example, I could save that and now this specific channel will transmit that general alarm event when the analytics are triggered. These contact ID codes are transmitted, if enabled, based upon either alarm source. So if you use the digital input or the on-div event message, that alarm code will be transmitted if it's enabled for the site. That's important to note. So now you can take these cameras that have edge-based analytics and really define security parameters for your clients uh, based upon their needs. I will go back to the monitoring portal and just show you, here's the thermal camera that created an analytic event. So this thermal camera has a line crossing defined as well. And you can, of course, see that there's somebody walking through that thermal lens. Now I can go to that same event on that lens, on the clear lens, and see that here. And you can still see that same line crossed alarm information right there. So now with this latest feature by Checked, and the latest firmware on your bridge, you can create alarm events and video events based upon a physical trigger from an alarm detection zone, relay, or from cameras and recorders with video analytics. This ability to create hybrid solutions will give you an opportunity to create an extensive security solution for your clients that they can trust. Thank you so much. You have a great day.